guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I am here with another video. Now, the thing is, I kind of skipped February, and uh, I'm sorry, it's just it's a short month, and I it's a really short month, so I really fall behind on everything. That's all. That's always what happens with me in February. So I don't just have one of these, but I have two of these. I don't just have one. So I have two scroller box here. If you do not know what scroller box is, scroller box is a monthly subscription box that you can have sent straight to your door. It comes with bunches of awesome art supplies you have probably heard of before, or you have been wanting to try, or you have never ever seen in your entire life. This is the perfect way to discover new art supplies. So I don't wanna take up too much time, so let's go ahead and open up this box first. So this is what it looks like inside, nice and pretty. I've got two little things right here. We're gonna go ahead and open this. <gasps> this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. So Scholar Box sends me an art print and it has all the information on this particular artist on the back. So if I wanna go check out their artwork, I can. And they also are super nice to go ahead and send me a bookmark that tells me everything that I'm getting in this particular box. First off, we have these nice fiber castell gold fiber aqua pencils so these are watercolor pencils ah! this is just adorable because this is a faber castell water brush how cute is it look how adorable that is and then they sent me a statler mars lumo graph pencil and this is a 4b can never have enough erasers here is a statler eraser and here is a statler pencil sharpener can never run out of of these then we're gonna go have ahead and open up the next box oh it's a tiny one yay so i've got to go ahead oh something fell <laughs> oh my goodness look what they sent me a sketchbook ah this is so exciting i love when the scroller box tends to send sketchbooks how cool is that so let's go ahead and take a look at this first art print that scroller box sent to me in this box so that is really cool. I wish I could shade and draw like that. How awesome is that? Oh, look at this pencil sharpener. It looks like a bullet. Go ahead and open up this little itty bitty package. Scroller box goes ahead and sends me a bookmark that tells me everything that I'm getting. It is a bullet sharpener. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I just glanced at it. It's a bullet, how cool is that? First off, what we're gonna look at first is twin tip magic markers. So I've got two colors. It looks like I've got a pale olive, which is a green. It has a chisel tip on one side with these markers and then a more defining end at the other side. So this is a pale olive and this one is a pretty purple. This is really fancy. This is a Palomino Blackwing 602 pencil. <gasps> Look at that fancy eraser. That is so cool. So we have to sharpen it. We're gonna try this out. And then we have an Edding 1800 0.1 pencil. So that's a really nice fine tip liner. And then they were kind enough to send me an A5 sketchbook. And this sketchbook is by Sylv Sylvine. This is by Sylvine sketchbook and it's really nice. Look how cool that is. What I love about the scroller box is it comes with the scroller challenge. So on the back of your bookmarks with all your art supplies, you have the scroller challenge, which challenges you to go ahead and take all of these wonderful pieces of artwork and make something out of it only using this one word prompt, but you can only use the art supplies that you were given into your box. So I've got two words right here and I'm going to put them both together. <laughs> wow. So one of the, okay, one word is starlet and then the other word is quiet morning. So let's go ahead and take both of these boxes, combine the art supplies together, and combine both of these word prompts and make a really awesome piece that is able to achieve both scroller challenges. So let's go ahead and jump into a time lapse and I'll see you over there. Alrighty, so I wanted to talk to you guys about what I chose exactly for this, these two challenges. When I think of a quiet place, I think that the most quiet places of all that I've ever been to is not in the country or standing on a mountaintop or looking out over at some beautiful landscape next to a babbling brook. It, I think the most quiet I've ever been, which I truly, truly enjoy, is when it snows. That is the quietest place I could think of. So. And then I thought about starlet, and when I think of starlet, I think of stars. So, starlets in a quiet place, which was snow, I thought how cool would it be to make a girl who is able to catch stars that are actually 
snowflakes, but there are snow stars. So it's like the stars are falling from the heavens in the form of snowflakes. So I thought, how cool would it be to draw something like that? And I just wanted to talk a little bit about these art supplies. As always, I love watercolor pencils. They're really fun to work with. You gotta be a little bit careful with them sometimes. And this sketchbook paper can handle at least one good layer of watercolor pencils, but you can't go too heavy or too, you can't put too much pressure with the watercolor pencils on this tip, this particular paper just because it can't really control it that well or it can't hold it in place as much and it could get to the point that it could rip up. So I think this sketchbook paper is really strong. It just can only handle about one layer of watercolor. So if you're ever looking at an A5 sketchbook and you're thinking, oh, I'll use this for you know, for everything else because it says it can handle different mediums. Just be very careful with what you use on it. And let's talk about the magic markers. I only wanted to use the magic markers as my flat colors on this piece, so I used it on her scarf, her earmuffs, and her gloves, and her belt on her jacket. And I don't know, she just gives me a, a Penelope vibe. You know, the old Penelope movie with James McAvoy and what's her name, Christina Ricci? That's what it really reminds me of. And then let's just talk about my favorite art supplies from this entire whole, like both of these, both of these fantastic packages. I want to talk about the Statler Mars Lumograph pencil, which turned out to be a watercolor pencil. And I didn't realize that until I started putting watercolor using my Faber-Castell water brush. I went over the spots that I was shading her face in and I went, oh my goodness. It's a watercolor pencil. I have a graphite watercolor pencil, which is really cool. Um, so I went over that a ton and I was just, I love how I wanted to do this contrast with the stars everywhere and her scarf and her jacket. And I made everything else about her black and white. I just think that gave it a really nice contrast and it gave a chance for the stars to really pop. But that was by far my favorite, favorite, favorite art supply out of these both of these scrawler boxes. So yes, it was just a lot of fun. I love creating different characters and maybe characters that have more of a backstory as in why is she holding these stars? And I, you know, that's what I like about Scarlet Box because it gets my memory going and it just gets my creativity going to where how can I how can I put these two together and it helps me make creative original characters that I could possibly build up off of and make stories from. So that's what I really appreciate about the Scrawler challenges. All right, my darlings. Now, if you would like to get your own Scrawler Box subscription, look at this website right here at the bottom of the screen. Go visit it. I'm also gonna put the link down below to the website so you can order your own subscription to Scrawler Box. And join me in the Scrawler Challenge. It's just a fun way to discover new art supplies. Thank you, Scrawler Box, once again, for sending me beautiful boxes full of wondrous, beautiful art supplies. I'm gonna go, and I hope you guys have a most wonderful day. Make sure you hit that like button if you love Scrawler Box, and make sure you hit subscribe for more videos like this every week, Mondays and Fridays. I love you guys. Have a most wonderful day. Bye! Do, 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 do.